So here we are, Amarillo. I hope this music is coming through. That's some tactical bum proofing right there. You can't even like tolerate it, hardly. And if you can tolerate it, you're just gonna fall straight to sleep. Over here we have, yes, yes, that's a Coca-Cola bottle filled with urine and just placed casually in the center of the table. Don't know what to say about that, folks. What about you, Ruckus? So that there is the Santa Fe building, and you can see it from the train yard when you're coming in or when you're going um, from any direction of town, really. It's one of the bigger buildings. And that uh, served for a long time, well, from 1930 to 1995, as the headquarters of the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway. And, uh, yeah, it's a cool building. It's gonna be the highlight of my time walking around downtown here, I think, even though I've seen it before. And with that uh, kind of comes, you know, some fun history about the town of Amarillo and how it all came to be. Out here, just in the middle of the plains, there's literally nothing out here. No water. Actually, there is <laughs> some water. The first time I ever came through here, I wondered, just like, you know, how did people choose this physical geographic location for a settlement you know because you can't see any water anywhere at a minimum but it turns out there is one small seasonal creek I believe that flows through the area here and I think it was just called Amarillo Creek and that was really the original incentive for people to settle here or live here and then came the railroad. Uh, interestingly, ATSF built a lot of their trackage without really having a uh, client base because that period of time there wasn't a whole lot out here. So they were smart though and they built the railroad and they got all of the land grants from the government and then they made some money selling those, selling off that land from the land grants for farming all throughout the area, all throughout the Southern Plains, really. Which in turn created a client base for them. So really you've got the railroad to thank for everything out here. So I think we're coming into like the hippest part of downtown here. We've got a barcade. Fancy modern looking signs and furniture. All of the indicators. You know, really, the only thing there does seem to be here is banks. So weird. I've seen those on cops. There are a lot of cops episodes from Amarillo, let me tell you people. Well, there you have it, folks. Downtown Amarillo, Texas. As exhilarating as that was, I think I'm just going to go drink beer at the railroad tracks. 
It's not much happening here for a guy like me. Bye, buddy. Looks good. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out, man. Sun went down. I've got about a uh, five mile walk to the catch out spot. And once I'm out there, I could have as long as a three day wait, <laughs> which I'm really not looking forward to. But this is the best way to go to Dallas, really. And that's where I'm heading. So long, Amarillo. Quick resupply mesh on the ravioli. And then we're out. There's a bunch of ripe prickly pear fruit right here. And as if they were dog turds. Just gonna pull them off. Save them all for later. These are delicious if you don't know. I'm keeping low to avoid the abundance of small yapping dogs in this neighborhood. They don't like me stealing their prickly pears. So where am I? I told you. Far East Amarillo. Where am I going? Further East Amarillo. Um, you know, in fact, it's probably not even Amarillo anymore, technically. But I'm going to a uh, small refueling pad where I can catch a train to Dallas-Fort Worth. And in Dallas-Fort Worth, I will see a YouTube celebrity of proportions much larger than my own ran out on a rail. I've actually met him before, and he's a super good guy, cool guy, very knowledgeable, very smart. Um, he rides harder and knows more about trains than most people at this point in time, or many people. So I'm going to go say hi to him and hang out for a while, and then from there, well, I'm not going to tell you, because by the time I post this video, I might not be there yet. I don't want any of you cops out there looking for me. No, sir. Got enough of you. Oh my god, I'm carrying like 16 pounds of water, another 20 in my shoulder bag, probably 40, maybe 45 even, in the man pack. I got a while left to walk. And everything out here smells like fucking cow shit. It didn't smell like cow shit in the alley, but it smells like cow shit on the cow shit on the road. At the Christian Heritage Church, it smells like cow shit. At Baca Motors, it smells like cow shit. How do you get away from it if you live here? Someone just threw a beer at me. I think that might mean I'm not welcome here. Or maybe it meant, hey man, welcome to town, have a beer. You never know these days. Here we go. This is a train coming in on, well hold on now. Now that is a train heading to Kansas City. We're getting way out here. I've been walking a long time and I'm way down really heavy. This totally sucks. Those are the lights of town out there. 
my buddy uh, I ran out on a rail. He uh, told me his train crew changed here at 3 a.m. The one that I want. And I'm glad. Because it might take me, oh, till 3 a.m. to get there. God damn. Oh, baby. We are out here. Out here all alone. Just a man. 25 ounce black cherry Bud Light seltzer water and his will to survive. It's getting rough, people. It's getting rough. Okay, here we go. This thing just crept right on in. I almost didn't hear it. Uh, this should go to Dallas from here. Oh, here we go again. Not ideal at all. Don't do this, people. This train was supposed to stop right here, and it didn't. It just slowed down for a while, and when I could see it picking up speed again, I just ran, and I caught the very, I think the third car from the end of the train. This is literally the only thing I could get on.
done that before. You apply the hot sauce to the mini ravioli and something truly magical happens. God, we're stopping. I'm gonna have an opportunity to switch to a different car, I think, here. As long as we're here for a minute or two. Whoo! Yeah, we're on a double track. I should be good to move. We've still got like an hour to the next crew change point. There ain't nothing up there. I've got about the only rides right here. Except for the uh, very front of the train, there were definitely some better rides. But I'm not gonna walk all the way up there and get on right behind the crew. It's a little too obvious for me, even. It's really not a whole lot better of a ride, but I can at least take a nap without falling to my death. And it's kind of covered, fairly concealed with this grate here right above me. So it's whatever.
coming into a band of rain and it's looking like I'm probably gonna get wet before I get to Fort Worth. Here we go. We're about 10 miles uh, outside of the uh, curve heading into the Alliance yard where I'm going to want to bail. My buddy tells me my train should go slow enough there. through uh, the curve but stopped probably about five miles away. I just don't want to have to get off in the yard here. And here's my ride. Just taking the fucking, taking the curb in his sporty new whip.